is Noah at Ohio Northern University, and this is an example of our Connect Virtual Object program. So what I have here is I have a target um, that follows my right hand. That's using the skeletal data. Whoa! Connect to drop. You just saw part of the demonstration already. Anyhow, what this does is uses the speech recognition for me to give the connect commands. So when I say connect target, what it will do is it will make a virtual object that's going to follow my hand, or at least that's the idea. Connect target. It's also really slow sometimes and laggy. There we go. So as you can see now, I have the virtual dodecahedron on my right hand and the real one in my left. And I can move it around anywhere on the screen. There we go. Okay, and then I tell the connect to get rid of it by saying connect drop. this way. Now, what's interesting about this is that even though the dot is on my hand, I can also pick up other virtual objects by just waving my hand behind them, because the connect will actually guess where your hand is. So I can say connect target. No. Connect connect target there now I have a virtual table and I can move it around effortlessly on the screen you may notice it actually wraps if I move close enough to the right side that was unintentional it's how the image is calculated connect drop and the way this works is the camera takes a depth snapshot and starting wherever that red target is, it will pick out all the pixels that are connected to the pixel it starts with based on depth. And then it takes all those pixels that it feels are connected, takes all the pixels of the object, and copies their color information into a new bitmap, saves it, and then moves it around and places it on the screen. I can also use it to make a clone of myself. Hold on, let me stand closer. Connect, target, and I have a virtual copy. I cut off part of my head, which is unfortunate. Oh well. Thanks for watching. Bye.